Hi there, my name is Joy and welcome to my channel. So if you don't know, I've been decluttering my house for the past year. And yeah, today is no exception. So I've kind of been going around room by room, but I have a secret space. And that is this cupboard. Right, I've got my hair up. So let me show you the horrific state that this is in. So. This first cupboard. Yeah. I have no words. Okay. And Not much better that side either. So, yes, this is my dirty little secret. My Monica cupboard, as Katie from um, what Katie said called it. Like in Friends, Monica has that cupboard at the end of her corridor that is just full, but the rest of her house is kind of tidy and organised. Um, this is my cupboard, although the rest of my house still isn't kind of tidy and organised. The rest of my house looks like this. I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna start by tackling this cupboard because there are things in here that shouldn't be in here and there are things that should be in here that can't fit so yeah let's uh, deal with the mess right so I've only just started pulling things out of the cupboard just kind of top thick and I found my degree um, yeah that is something that definitely shouldn't be stored in a cupboard of linens and well it, yeah that's what it should in that cupboard there should be like linens and towels and all that sort of thing but there's not there are degrees there are degrees in that cupboard oh my goodness what a mess and another thing that was right by the degrees for all the baby monitoring cameras and things that we haven't used in ages because we didn't know where they were. Um, so yeah, we either need to use these again or get rid of them if we're not, if we're not using them. But yeah, I have no idea where they were They're in that cupboard. a load of cushions that I am just storing but I don't need so I'm gonna find it a new home for these and pass them on One of my goals is to try and get that guitar into the cupboard. And there's a big space there at the moment. I mean, it's just all on the floor. Uh, but uh, yes, I'm gonna try and see if I can get it in. Give it a go. You all right there, Elias? It's a bit crazy here, isn't it? It's a bit of a mess. Yeah, mummy's made a big mess. Right, so basically everything's out. Uh, that's just my sewing basket, sewing box, that can go, and sewing machine. And then I've just left some of the like sheets in here because I know that they're gonna go back into this side. Although this is a spare quilt, it's like a toddler size one. So it was Elias's, but he's now in a full kind single bed, so he's got another duvet. And this is just waiting for Ezra to get big enough to have his duvet. So 
I'm gonna store that elsewhere, I think. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like I say, everything's out. Everything is on the floor. In the most gigantic messes of messes, isn't it, boys? Yeah. It's really bad. Uh, but they say things have got to get worse before they get better. And this has definitely got worse. I have a feeling it might not even get better today. It might be a couple of days. Then this side is completely empty and if I move the shelf up I can kind of fit the guitar in so we'll just we'll see how that goes I'm not sure I'm not sure what my husband will think whether that has to be flat or not I, I don't know much sorry I have two very noisy boys with me but yeah I'm gonna try and start on the mammoth task of getting everything back into the cupboard. Well, everything that should be in. So, day two. I mean, it's not even the next day, I'm not gonna lie, it's a few days later. I just, I got overwhelmed by the space and I couldn't deal with it anymore, so I just had to abandon ship and the, I needed to spend time with the boys. So, I have come back to it, I have cleaned it up and I'm gonna show you the after. So, here it is. Here is the cupboard that I was so embarrassed to show you before and now it looks like this. So I managed to get the guitar in and the travel cot and that's the bag for monitors and things so that's all kind of sleep stuff. I've got a little box here for odd socks because they're so tiny and from the boys they always come out one sock gone in the wash and then it turns up in the next load so that's just there for me to kind of deal with the laundry as I put it away and coming down I've got like kids linen, our linen, there's one more bit that needs to go in there that is in the wash at the moment but otherwise that is all sort of organised and neat and So I'd say these are all our bags for travel and they are all empty. Yay! Um, down to my sewing things, which I think I showed before. More kind of just empty travel bags, like the smaller kind of bags that you can pack into those when we need to go anywhere. Travel stuff, sleeping bags, roll mats. If we're going camping and it's that sort of thing. Beach towels and like just kind of bathroom towels and things. Most of them are actually in the bathroom at the moment, but if I have any extras, that's where they go. Uh, this drawer is still sort of needing to be sorted out. These are a load of clothes that I found in the wardrobe that were Elias's, but they're a bit too small for him now, but they'll probably fit Ezra. So. I've got to go through that. I want to go through both the boys' wardrobes. I'm going to see whether I can minimise them and kind of maybe even give them a capsule wardrobe. So I'm going to keep that and use that when I kind of go through their wardrobes and decide what I actually need. So hopefully that will be going soon. And then just down to kind of, yeah, swim, 
swim towels. Yeah, so that's bathroom towels, this swim towels. And then all all the kids' swimming costumes and things. So if we're ever going swimming, I just need to come to that one drawer and it's all there together. So yeah, that is it. Well, oh let me show you let me show you the bedroom as well. So that is probably gonna move over there. Um not sure about it. I might declutter it, but it's not mine, it's the boys, and they do play with it, so I kind of feel like maybe I have to wait a little bit before I can get rid of that. Let them come to their own natural sort of, we're not playing with the kitchen anymore, that can go. Um, yes, Eddie's bed, all the books are in that corner by the chair, so we can read them a bedside story on the chair. And all of his clothes are in there. So... It has been a mammoth task. I've been truly, yeah, overwhelmed by it, but I'm so glad it's done. And yeah, hopefully I will not let it get like that again in the future. So let me show you what I got out of it. So this is it. This is what I'm getting rid of. There is, um, that's the big bag of cushions and bedding and stuff. That's all really good, so that's gonna go get donated. I just, I'm not gonna change the cushions in our house anymore. But one set, that's fine. Happy with the decoration, staying like that. Um, yeah, there's bag of clothes and things, this one. Hangers, I feel like I just got rid of hangers. I think they multiply and breed in my cupboard, but anyway. Big box of hangers. Uh, this is a, like, um, camera or like really old one that we inherited we just got no use for so that's gonna go and um, a bag of rubbish because you know I was just storing rubbish in my cupboards <sighs> but no more so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and yeah I post every week about life and my journey into minimalism at the moment and yes yeah, so that's every Friday and I hope you stick around and join me and if there's something you'd like to see just leave it in the comments below and yeah thank you and i will see you again next week okay bye